Hello everyone, welcome to a corner farming in the Philippines. I wanted to... Oh, that was a pretty bright flash of lightning. I wanted to check the... to see how the ditch was doing in this rain. It's been... Uh, heavy to moderate. It'll get heavy and then it'll... it'll lighten back down. I just wanted to check and see if there was any runoff in this ditch here yet. Just to check function. Well, there is a bit. Not much coming from that way yet. It seems to be going along there just fine. I don't want him to check how it's doing here. I think this is just crossing right here, so that's that's why we need this interconnecting pipe here. Of course there's not much coming in this end of it here. It only started raining like 10 or 15 minutes ago. So there's not much runoff yet. And it only rained hard for about two minutes. So we will hardly have anything going through now. Or at this time I should say. And I wanted to check this sow with the boil. When I looked at her earlier today, she really looked close. So I just wanted to check her again. Of course, she has to be around on the other end of the piggery. Had to make a few adjustments there to the umbrella. There's not much of a rain at the moment. But this is like a, a steady rain, and you can see the poles are for the most part not in the water. It's only like in a torrential downpour that the poles would be getting wet. Or not so much getting wet, of course they're going to get wet, but they won't be in standing water. coming back on this side as well. Well, everybody's huddled in a pile to keep warm. Can't blame them for that. I'm just about tired of waiting on this coil. It's turned into a huge mass. And the larger that boil gets, the larger the larger the damage to the underlying tissue is. It's stretching the skin out. I'm gonna get a hold of the vet tech uh, tomorrow. It is Saturday tomorrow, but I'm still gonna get a hold of the vet tech and just get an appointment for Monday. And if she hasn't had her piglets by then, I'm pretty sure she will have had them, but uh, one way or another, I'm gonna pop that boil. Uh, it's getting pretty serious. 
is more than pretty serious. Uh, I didn't want to take the chance of losing her. I'm going to get his final opinion. I mean, if we have, if it, well, we're pretty sure it's a boil. If it's not a boil, and it's a hemorrhage of some kind, and we and we pop it, then we've got a serious problem because we have no way to repair a hemorrhage. In my opinion, it's a boil. And the longer it goes, the more from now, the more damage it could do to her. But I don't want to pop it if it's not a boil and take the chance of uh, losing those piglets. I'm walking right under the eave of the of the roof here. And of course, the, everything that's draining off the roof is draining on me. And even with an umbrella, my feet are still getting wet. this one more time. The rain picked up a little bit, actually quite a bit, since I first came down here. Of course the runoff hasn't reached here yet. It's pretty, it's really steady thunder and lightning though, I can tell you that. And I still, I haven't gotten this, this side of the sidewalk cleared out, so it's, it's draining down the top here and just going down that way. Not really hurting anything, but I'd rather have it going in the ditch to get the pond filled up. not from not wanting to do it, I just can't remember to do it. We're getting quite a bit of inflow in right here. It's coming down now. But it's handling it well. As long as it doesn't overtop right here, it'll be fine. Because the, the ditch is much, much uh, deeper down there. Oh, that was lightning right there, boy. Yeah, it's even starting to come in pretty good from this side. Some water moving down that now. If I had this side cut out, I don't even know if that ditch could handle it all. Because there's a lot of water coming over the top of this sidewalk. I'll just make the ditch deeper if I have to deeper and wider. There's another thing that I want to do is that not only do I want to cut out this side of the sidewalk, I want to put cement right here so that the water that's coming from all this drive from all our driveway here all this is coming out here I want to put cement right along here 
so that it, instead of it draining off that way and through the garden, it'll drain off this way and eventually into that ditch down there. Something else to do. Something else for me to try to remember. Well, I thought I was being smart using the umbrella, but nonetheless, I'm soaking wet. So I'm through with this video. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.